What's good, what's good? All right, so look, today we're getting ready to do a little condo tour. I've been wanting to do this for a hot minute, but I finally got my boy behind the camera. You so we'll be, know. Able to, we'll be able to slide up in here and uh, see what we got going on. So first things first, I had to be in a very, very, very busy area because I love the chaos. The chaos of Bangkok is literally what drew me in here. I'm in the high rise. We have other high rises in the area. Now how I got this place was, I literally came to the building and then they set me up with a guy and he took me through all these buildings in this area and this For one real? was my favorite. Well, on the same day? Yeah, on the same day, man. Yeah, same bro. day, Got a long he time pulled on, up. Bro. <laughs> yeah, it was super quick, bro. Yeah. And that's why I love it right there. That shit wouldn't happen anywhere else, same day moving in. Oh, never, bro. Same yeah. day, never, bro. And all they needed for me to move in here, all they needed was literally just my passport and a deposit. Two months deposit and my passport, and that's it. Yeah. And if I want to move out early, they just keep the deposit. How long is your lease for? One year. That's calm, bro. Yeah, One year, game, bro. bro. We got 24-7 security, bro. 24-7. Yeah. Oh, they got these guys out here, and they're super cool. Always showing love. What's up, bro? What's up, guys? Yeah, How you doing? Swati yeah. cops. <laughs> um, you know, you got a little bit of greenery here and there. It's, it, it's nice. You know, I'm about a 10-minute walk from one of the biggest malls in the world, which is Central World. I'm about a five-minute walk from one of the biggest, I guess you could say, kind of like, warehouses that have you know all types of clothing all types of everything one of the biggest ones in southeast asia actually for real yeah uh it's called platinum mall i didn't even and know that man i'm also right next to another market that's like actually walking market you can walk over they got food vendors we got facial recognition to get in the door um bro so this is the inside first yeah. thing first i'm also say the condo the what's the one looking for aircon is great I oh yeah cool already bro oh need the aircon awesome. bro and you've been in how long bro so I've been in here for about three months. Ah. Three months, and I mean, so far, bro, I'm, uh, I love it. Like, this is, you got a mini um, You got a little seven. A little mini 7-Eleven machine, you know. You ever mess with the towel bins? Bro, I never use that in my life, bro. <laughs> is it good? Is it really as good as people say it? It's, it's cool, it's cool. The towel bin's cool. I usually like to get it from, uh, I usually like to get my coffee from the street vendors. Yeah. But, you know, if it's late night and I need something to pick me up real quick, I'll rock right here. Yeah, 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 I'm about to check that out. It's unbeatable. Everybody in the building is super cool. Everybody's super nice. There's a couple families. You got kids in here. Yeah. So it's really nice. It's a real nice, wholesome vibe in here. <laughs> now this is nice though, man. I like the interior and shit. Seems quite spacious as well. Yeah, it's very nice. And I don't know if you noticed, there's elevators everywhere. So there was one there. There was like four back by the 7-Eleven machine. There's one here. There's one here. Oh. There's one there, one there. So you never have to wait too long oh. that's so crazy i just said that and now we have to wait, wait. Long for it. <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like when you're moving here and i'm not sure if you would agree it just all really depends on like what you're willing to sacrifice so for example some people would rather have a smaller room but have like the sick amenities which are like rooftop pool aesthetic views gym sauna yeah. where like mine for example my condo blocks a bit older i think it was built in like 2015 so it's a bit older in terms of amenities they ain't as, they're not as nice a luxury however the space is a lot bigger do you know what i mean so yeah. what do you think about that um i definitely think out here is definitely a trade-off i think people live way more minimal so you'll see right now i mean as far as like the clothes i had in the united states the closet i had in the united states the the just apartment in a whole was way bigger way bigger but when you come out here you kind of start to realize that you don't even need yeah. so much space and you don't need a, a, a full set of clothes and yeah. you don't need all this extra stuff all man. The shit you have yeah yeah so first things first the elevator opens right into the apartment Damn. so that makes it really nice this out here is the hallway well, this, this is your apartment yeah. That's fucking cool, bro. It's like yeah. elevator goes straight to your shit. Yeah, the elevator comes straight That's in here. Crazy. So all of them, all of them are penthouse style, which explains why there were so many elevators. So Damn. this is the room right here. Um, where the magic happens. <laughs> yeah, where the where the magic doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, this is the room. This is cool. Uh, this is one of the only king size beds that they had in at all. Yeah. So. That was one of the factoring decisions. You Everything that, in bro. Thailand, most of the time, comes fully furnished. So, yeah. yeah. Ready for you to move in. I know you need that king size, bro, because you tore this shit. <laughs> yeah, ready to move in instantly, bro. So, and I definitely needed the king size to give me some space, but that's cool. You know, and, and this is what it is. Like, the apartments, they're, they're not huge. Yeah. You know, I mean, 
I got this closet is good enough. Yeah. It comes with it came with this desk. Yeah. The bathroom's good enough. And let me tell you something for all you Americans out there, okay? This thing right here, okay? This thing is called a bidet. You don't have to come to Thailand for this. You can order this in America. And I suggest that you get one of these and experience what life is like <laughs> with a bidet. A bidet, is that what you call it? A bidet, see, what, what do you call it? Bro, so obviously, guys, for those of you who don't know, I'm from London, bro. So in, in the UK, we will call that like the bum gun. The bum gun? The bum gun. Oh, like me, I'm Caribbean, right? So when yeah. I did my videos, like, guys, look at my batty blaster, like, shh. <laughs> Spray up your shit. The body blaster, bro. That's so funny. The bum gun. I'm gonna start calling it that. That's that's the bum gun. The bum gun for real, bro. So, but I think it's a hygiene thing. Like since so coming to Asia yeah. like, and you see like damn, that just makes so much sense having a bidet, bum gun, whatever it is. Bro. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense that in America we're wiping. Yeah, when you can't just go. toilet paper and that's it. Yeah, dry dry balling it on the butt. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> dry balling it on the butt is insane. <laughs> I got the shower, nice and nice and simple, you know, nothing too crazy. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's all. That's all you need right there. Yeah. That's the job, man. But now this is a cool little space, bro. This is a little pad. Like I said, it's just like you said, even bro. You just need to stick to the essentials, man. You don't need something that's way too big for having so much closet room that you're not even gonna fill up. Do you know what I mean? So, bro, it doesn't make any sense yeah. at all to have something so big. Look at this view. Oh. Right, look at this shit. Um, so do you just come out here every day? Just like I would just be beeping this shit like, every day. Bro. Yeah, I usually like to come out here and just chill in my little chair. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't had a couple people tell me I need to get some furniture out here, but I think the chair just does just good. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I come out here, relax. This is the uh, this is the Thailand clothes dryer right here. Just in case you didn't know about it, it's most places efficient. outside of America don't have dryers. And I didn't know that. Is that standard procedure in the U.S.? Yeah. yeah. Everybody in the United States has dryers Ooh. here. This is your dryer right here. You air dry, and that's that's a lot of places outside of America. Oh. That's like the U the UK. Like in some some cribs in the UK, you might have like a dryer, but like the normal practice, like when you move in, you'll just have a washing machine. That's it. You hang your shit outside, like you would do here. So this this here to you is something special, but this is normal to me. Like back yeah, then. yeah, for real. Yeah, this is just the inside, nice and nice and small. This is literally all I need right here. Man. All you need, man. Yeah, nothing too crazy. And whenever you gotta go, you can just call the elevator from right here. That's mad. I find that so crazy. Like, like you just come out your crib and you just got elevator right there. Like, yeah. basically in in the yard, in the house, bro. It like, is crazy. And I'm not gonna lie, that was like one of the big one of the big factors because this one and I think another one had the elevator going to it, but this one was on a higher floor. Yeah. So I definitely had to pick this one because yeah. I love I love 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 that view. So what's like your your normal routine? So you wake up, run us through it. So usually I wake up and i usually edit the video from the day before so i'll wake up around like seven eight edit my video that i made the day before and then man make a video that day and that could be going to eat something going to like one of my favorite coffee shops um it could be anything i mean life as a digital nomad life as an entrepreneur is good because you make your own schedule mm -hmm. but it's also bad because you make your own schedule mm -hmm. so you gotta you gotta be disciplined so usually I like to just make sure I at least get some content in and make sure I'm growing personally and business wise. Yeah. As long as I'm doing those two things in the day, it doesn't really matter what I do. So one of your, let's say right now, one of your audience might be thinking right now, I wanna wake up to this view every day, da 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 da. What is one piece of advice you would give to them to become a digital nomad and live your life? Okay, so the main piece of advice to become a digital nomad i mean first things first you got to be able to make money online now if that's going to be you know uh having a course um you know if you're going to trade that was that was my way out was trading um but there's there's so many options nowadays and as long as you can make money from your laptop that's step one so if you get step one done, then you just have to not be fearful and you gotta make that move. You can make a move anywhere. You can travel, see how you like things, and then go from there. Mm. Yeah. I agree, bro. I love that you asked me, you, you asked me questions that nobody ever asked before, and that's that's really dope. Come on, man. It's good to have different types of content, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it is, that's amazing. Bro. Away from the norm. It's amazing to have these different types of content, bro. For real, bro. So right now, it's what, 12.30? After this video, what's on your agenda for the rest of the day, bro? Um, so, on my agenda for the rest of the day, uh, man, 
I got one friend who's in town right now and he leaves in a couple days so I think we might get some food um, maybe chill by the pool a little bit and actually I'll show you guys the pool right now yeah and uh, man that's it life is just life out here is a little bit different it's not so fast-paced and in the city so accessible so you can just make a decision we could go from right here and being like man I want to go to this coffee shop in Thong Lore. And we can take a 15 minute ride and be at, you know, just like an amazing, beautiful coffee shop that has like Tulum vibes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like one of my favorite things about Bangkok, yeah. for sure, is the accessibility. That's it, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but yeah that's so crazy to me that we just leave the condo and we're just in the <laughs> elevator right now. Like, yeah, bro. This, this in the United States would be, this would be like, Honestly, I couldn't even tell you. Yeah. It, it depends on what city you're in, but this would be, this price would be insane to have elevators that go straight into your apartment. Yeah. yeah. And out here, I feel like it's kind of like 50-50. Like, you know, there, there's a lot of spots that do this, but ah. there's also... So what is this? Yeah, so this right here is the common area. Um, a lot of people come over here, they'll be playing games on this TV. Uh, a lot of people will chill right here. Yeah, man. Nice simple area. You come this way. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't, we ain't done, bro. We ain't, you got this. You got to skip past like that, bro. Like, you gotta give us a little tour. My for bad, real. my bad, my bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're used to this, but me and the audience, we ain't seen this shit. <laughs> Respect, bro. We Respect. ain't seen this. So obviously, you know, you got the elevators. You got multiple TVs. Damn. What else we got? What's over here, man? So right here, this is the fireman lift. Oh. Now this is the elevator you take that doesn't go straight into the place. Just in case that one maybe was busy or was getting maintenance, this yeah. is the one that you would come to. Is anyone allowed to use this lift? Yeah, is it anybody for like emergencies or some shit? Nah, anybody can use this lift. I use this one sometimes because some because the elevator can only be used by one person at a time. Yeah. So it's like very convenient. Yeah. But if somebody's in it, then it's extremely inconvenient. <laughs> so it's a, it just depends on what time it is. So we got. Damn. Damn. That is crazy. <laughs> All right, I lied. I tried to open that door, <laughs> but it won't work. <laughs> I was trying to get a different angle so it didn't show you. Like struggling and shit. <laughs> what about here, bro? Here or what? Yeah. But now nah, this is cool. Like, this is real cool. So all around the pool, they got these little benches that you can sit on and relax. This is nice, be careful, because you will fall in the water. Because it ain't nothing but water. So it goes all the way around? Yeah. So the, it's an infinity pool that literally circles the entire building. Wow. So you can get in the water and go around the entire thing. Wow. The only tight space would be this right here. Do you ever go for a swim down here? Or up here, should I say? I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I haven't been in the pool. <laughs> I, I went to get in it once, and it was too cold. <laughs> Cause it was like nighttime. It was super windy. Cause yeah. it was high, up high. So you, you dipped your feet and you was like, "Yeah, I'm right. I'm good." <laughs> Man, I got to like my knees and then I, I had to, I had to turn around. Yeah, I got, I got too scared. I know it's a little warm in here right now, so it's pretty easy. You can turn on the AC. And, yeah. In any of the. But you know, I think it's cool, bro. I think it's mad cool how they got two TVs. So like you could actually bring your your boys here and just have a little chill spot. Like you could be like, yeah, bro, you want to get some work done. You could be here edit, editing a video. I could be editing a video. Your other boy could be here editing a video. We all just got some mad crazy view. Just oh like yeah. That. Got some, some TV watching and shit. Yeah. You ever chill here yourself? Yeah, this is where I like to come and edit my videos a lot of the time. But either in here, and I like to sit up here just because I, I don't like to be too low. Yeah. But I can show you where I actually like to edit my videos yeah. as long as the space is available. Yeah. Now, this is my cool, bro. Yeah, this place is straight. This place is real straight. This place is real deep. So we got these steps right here. If we go up, it's the fitness center. And if we go down, there's bathrooms, saunas, and we can just see. And then you go in the pool, there's seating right here. Now my least favorite thing about the pool is there's no hot tub. Yeah. So it kind of sucks, but then again, it's close to 100 degrees out here every day. So 
What's 100 degrees in Celsius? I'm just, I'm just thinking that. I think you're thinking in my head like, what the hell is 100 degrees, bro? <laughs> somewhere, somewhere between like 30 and 40, I think. Yeah, yeah, like 35. Like today, right now, it's 35 degrees. I don't know how much Celsius. Um, no, it's 35 degrees Celsius. So I, don't, I don't know your shit, bro. I don't know your shit. <laughs> That's so crazy, bro. I, like meters and Celsius, I can never figure it out, bro. Yeah, like bro. I try my hardest, but I'm so used to feet. Um, I'm so used to what's it called, the imperial system. Yeah. yeah. Up here is a pretty far view because there's no ground directly underneath. You just like kind of see up. And it's nice because it has an area with no windows, so you can really get an immersive experience of being up high. It's my cool. Damn, this is actually all right. Yeah, not bad. If you want to run on the treadmill, then you wobble it up with a view. This is nice. Man, why would you close those? Don't you want the view? That's crazy, bro. Really. Never. I mean, I feel like this gym has pretty much everything you need if you're if you're at a you know on a on the most basic level. Then it has little nooks that give you a nice view and maybe a little bit of AC. They got it on. Man, nobody's playing around here. But I work out as low key as low key tends to be one of my favorite areas right here. This is a nice view, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. What time of the day do you be hitting the gym? Morning, evening, Saturday? I, I can only go to the gym early morning. I hear that. Means go, going to the gym at, man. Like, just messing with your day. You need the gym to start your day. Yeah, I need the gym to start my day. If I go to the gym in the afternoon, I'm just like, I feel like there's more productive things I could be doing. Like. I know the gym and working out is, you know, like one of the main things you should be doing in your life, and it is productive in itself. But not, not, not for me. Past <laughs> like maybe like noon is like my cutoff. Yeah, bro. yeah, I agree, bro. I'm the same, bro. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they had. Is this a door right here? Nah, if that open. That's slightly a hazard, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, it has to be. <laughs> oh yeah, see, they got it blocked right here. Yeah, there's no way. But I wonder why they put a door right here. Cause it definitely is. Guys, look at this view, man. That's mad cool. Yeah, that's so funny. Somebody asking me questions, that's crazy. <laughs> like I made so many videos, but I made so many alone. Yeah. So it's like, I just say like my own thing. Yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So for somebody to ask me a question. Yeah, like, just, shit, what is this? <laughs> right? Oh, here we go. You got the, um, these are like the benches that you can just sit in, but the thing is you gotta get light to get them. Yeah, what? Right. Well, now this is still cool though. Yeah, on each side, you have your options. Alright, the games room, bro. Yeah. This is Run me through it. This is where it's at right here. This foosball, is but at. foosball doesn't really seem like a real game, right? Yeah. It's kind of like that. You only just ever come here and go like this. Yeah. Alright, and then that's it. Yeah. You got the pool table. Now this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, real man's game right here. Real man's game. Real man's game right here. You got the pool <laughs> table. Four elevators in one room. That's, that's crazy. Cool, actually. Now usually. This is like one of my favorite places to come and sit. Maybe after like a long day, I might grab some food, come up here. I don't know where, there's usually seats out here though. Right. Just jump in that shit. Yeah. Uh, see, I feel like that's the perfect temperature for this weather. But man, at night, it, it, it's, it's a little cold at night. I'm not gonna lie to you. But at night, the view is like, the part that sucks about this is I know the camera just does not do it justice. Yeah. Because this is a great view. And at night it's even better. But the camera doesn't do it justice. You, 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 you got to come here and well, actually be here to experience that view.
Now this right here is my favorite area to come to. Bro, you got a nice spot, bro. Shit. Uh, thank you, bro. This is my this is my favorite spot to come to and edit videos right here. Actually, right in this chair right here. Yeah. This is the best. Because in my room, I don't really have like a desk. In my room, I just have like my, my couch. Mm. And then sometimes I'll, I'll get on there, but I don't like to stay there too long. So right here, when I, when I do some work, I, I need like somewhere where I can sit, have like a full desk in front of me, and then have a chair without like TVs and all this extra distracting stuff. I like yeah. to just take my time, get my work done. That way I can actually do what I want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you see my videos, you probably see me in this room actually all the time. What, so you be like doing vlogs and shit here? Yeah, I do a lot of talking pieces in here. Yeah. It's nice, comfortable, the AC, there's not people coming in and out, so okay. I can just say what's on my mind, say what I want to say, and not yeah. have that, like, nervous reaction of talking in public, yeah, if that yeah, makes yeah. sense, you know? Nah, that makes sense, bro. Yeah. I'm getting over it, though, but you know the nervous reaction of, like, talking in public. Yeah, yeah. Kind of nah, like, I definitely do, man. Yeah. But you still got to feel the fear and do it anyways, bro. That's oh, it, yeah, man. bro. And we ain't letting no one or nothing stop the grind, bro. Ever, bro. Ever, never, ever, ever, ever. So this right here is the last room in here. Oh, this lady's here. This is the last room in here. And I think this just might be like a little, like kind of like meeting area, but this might be like the most unused room that I've actually seen here. Um, it's so unused that this is usually where I come and fly my drone. <laughs> so, so if you ever see my videos of me flying a drone around my building, this is usually always where I'm standing. Cool, bro. This exact area right here. Yeah. That's my so, idea. full circle, the first time I ever came and actually stayed in Bangkok, and the time that made me actually believed that I wanted to move here, I stayed in that building right there. Which one? That green one on the right. This, this one? Yep. That one right there. Uh, and staying there made me realize how dope Bangkok is, how much I like it, and how much I like this area. This area is really, really, really nice. Right there, there's a market. Right there is an electronics warehouse. I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> and then right there is the Platinum Mall. I was telling you about like one of the biggest warehouses that has, uh, I guess like wholesale clothes in Southeast Asia. And then right there is Central World, which is one of the biggest malls in the world. Damn, bro, you buy everything. Yeah, it's pretty fire. It's mad cool. Yeah, I think it's a debate on what's like the real downtown of Bangkok. Here we go. All right, so my camera died, or it didn't die, it just overheated. Actually, type so shit. yeah, type shit. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, so the price. This place right here with the infinity pool that goes around the entire building on the top floor where I have the elevator that goes into my room with security 24 seven at the front and at the gate in one of the busiest sides of Bangkok. Everything in my reach in walking distance in this area is 17,000 baht, what? which is between 490 and like $500, depending That's on the That's crazy, bro. In America, this would be easily three to four to $5,000, depending on what city you're in, for that little apartment that I got. But out here, it's such a deal. You can't beat it. The lifestyle is amazing out here. The quality of life is top, top, Top tier. Thailand is unbeatable. I love it. Man, that's sick, bro. 17,000 baht for all this. Shit. In the UK, <laughs> you get like a box room, like just a just the box, like. But none of these amenities you wouldn't get. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't think in America you would actually even be able to find anything for less than $500 for real. to live in. That's not in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Like, <laughs> this and look at this view, like more than worth it, man. This is a steal. Steal. It's a bargain. Steal, bro. That's why I had to sign a year lease. That way, they yeah. I, they can't they can't get me. I, yeah. They're not they're not they're not getting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, bro. This is crazy, man. So we were just talking 
and Stacy was telling me about the drone and shit like that. So talk to them about how you get your drone footage. Like, well, I've seen a couple of your YouTube videos and the B-roll would be mad cool, bro. So how do you set up that drone? Like, what type of shots do you be getting? So Tell me about that. a lot of times I set my drone up right here and then I just fly it straight out there. Now, depending on where I'm at in the building, as long as I'm like, I have a direct lane of contact with it from my remote control to my drone. I mean, man, I could take it probably I can for sure take it to that tallest building right there. Um, I can take it past the Grand Diamond or the Shibuya signs right here. And that's pretty far. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you right now. I could take it all the way to the top of that building and circle it. For real? Yep. And that's far. Yeah, that's, that's, Shit. if you don't know, this is one of, this is the second tallest building in Bangkok, the BOP building. Damn. Yeah. The drone. If you're, if you're thinking about getting a drone, definitely get the drone. If you have a reason you can use it and if it makes sense for you, definitely get it. Don't even think about it. Just go check it out. Try to fly one. Get it. I might just purchase it. One, man, I love my, like my drone is like literally one of my favorite things I own. Cause bro, I've been seeing, I've been seeing some of your videos and like the B-roll footage be looking hard bro. And like the yeah. way you do the transition sometimes between like talking videos and you got some B-roll as well, the way you're shooting, like it looks sick. And now that I'm here and I see the behind the scenes and I see the way you're living, type shit. Like, type cool. shit. Type shit. <laughs> type shit. <laughs> type shit. <laughs> that is cool bro, for real. Yeah, hell yeah bro. I that bro. Yeah bro, I appreciate you coming through bro. Always, I really bro. do. Always bro. It feels it feels it feels different to be on this side of the camera when yeah. somebody is actually talking yeah. and asking me questions. Yeah, yeah. It's different. It's I like different, this bro. side. I like this side. Nah, this is lit, man. <laughs>